What's up everyone? St. R. Edwards back. Welcome to the Ski Channel. Swift Coding with a K for everyone. We're now to section 1.7 in Apple's book, App Development with Swift. Section 1.7. We talk about documentation. Documentation is very, very important as a developer. You're going to need to know when and why you need to look up different code frameworks, UI frameworks. It could be variables, it could be functions. It's something you don't understand. Apple has a great tool that's built into, into the integrated development environment in Xcode that they've built so you can access documentation and information right there in Xcode. So in this lesson, we're going to learn how to access the documentation browser, and we're also going to look and see how we could access the sample code and guides. So go ahead and open up your last project, getting started, and we'll get right to it. All right, so now with the project up, go over to your navigator and click on the viewcontroller.swift file if it's not already selected. And I want you to ask yourself something. So this first function, override func view did load. Do you know what view did load really means and do you know when it's called or why? So this is a few ways of how you access documentation. So the first way you can do this is you can do the keyboard shortcut, which is Command Shift Zero on your keyboard. So if you do that, you can access the help menu, and you'll be able to search it. Another way is is just by going up here to Xcode to the toolbar up here at the top. You can uh, click on Help, and, th and there you go. You see the uh, developer the uh, developer documentation, which is what we just did. Command Shift Zero. And you can click on that, it'll take you right to it. Another way you can do it, an easier way, I think, is just by clicking on option and selecting it. So what you can see, as you can see, they have a declaration here and a description. So view did load. And it says it's called after the controller's view is loaded into memory. This method is called after the view controller has loaded it, is view hierarchy into memory. This method is called regardless of whether the view hierarchy was loaded from a nib file or created programmatically in the load view method. You usually override this method to perform additional initialization on views that were loaded from nib files. And down below, as you can see, there's a there's a uh, a label that says more and a uh, a link to method reference. So if you click on this method reference, it'll also take you to the documentation guide. And so we'll do that. All right, view did load. So on this section, as you can see, you see how it says, you know, it gives you the declaration, it gives you the short description, the discussion, and you also have a section that says see also. This is how most uh, method declarations are. And so what we're gonna do now is look up another one. So go to your go to the top into the search bar and start typing in UI view controller. And once it's pop up, okay. Now that it popped up, go ahead and select it. So it's the first one. We'll go ahead and hit enter. Make sure Swift is selected. I don't know if uh, Objective-C is defaulted for you guys or not or other, but make sure Swift is highlighted up here at the top. So go ahead and click on UI view controller. All right. And on the right side of the screen, under on this page, select topics. So what we did was we basically just scrolled down to about to about midway, and now we see a section called topics. Now in this topics section, it has symbols uh, underneath each topic, and each topic is basically listed uh, to where it's easier for you to find. So instead of listing it alphabetically, what Apple did was they listed them to where it's easier to access. So kind of like in the order on, on which, you know, you, the programmer, will be probably looking for them versus alphabetically just to make it easier on you. So as you can see, there are different topics here. So I want you guys to pause the video right now, and I want you, and I want you to see if you can find the symbol that says view. There's a property called view. I want you to find this symbol under topics and I want you to click on it. Pause the video. If you don't pause, I'll pause. 
All right, did you do it? All right, let's see. If not, here, we'll scroll down. We'll do it together. Right here under managing the view. So go ahead and click on view and we'll see what it says. View, he's got a short description here, declaration. It's got a little bit of a discussion and it also has a see also section too and uh, related symbols. So view the view that the controller manages. All right. Now I want you to look up at the top, uh, the, the top toolbar on the uh, documentation guide. And as you can see, you have a left and you have a right chevron to actually go forward and backwards. So what I want you to do right now is go ahead and hit the back button to go backwards in the documentation. And back on UI view controller, I want you to see if you can find view will appear. So go to topics again, pause the video and see if you can find view will appear. All right. All right, hopefully you guys did it. All right, so we'll do it again. So go to topics and we're, we're looking for it. view will appear. So you can do it this way or you can command F at the top and just search it and it'll easily, you know, it'll pop up. Uh, but, you know, we'll go through it this way. View will appear. View will appear. There it is. Responding to view events. This is the topic it's under. The symbol view will appear. Notifies the view controller that its view is about to be added to a view hierarchy. So what we have here. All right. So as you can see, it has just about the same type of information that our instance uh, variable had, our instance property had, um, you know, just a few slides ago uh, for the view property uh, with the addition of a section called parameters. And uh, as you can see here, it says uh, animated if true, the view is being added to the window using the animation. So for, so for methods or functions, uh, some of them have parameters and, and they're called with their parameter and as you can see, this has an animated type of a parameter and it has a bool. And um, so remember, bools are just true or false. So when you call that method, you got to make sure that you include it just like this, basically. OK. Um, so this is documentation. Another good thing that you want to get used to using is the sample code and the sample and the guides. Documentation can be a little bit too technical, especially when you're just starting out, but it's very important that you learn to utilize it. So it may, it may be easier to start off to, to look at some sample code and sample guides, and we'll go ahead and do that too. All right, so what you can do is, is pull up your, your internet browser, your favorite internet browser. I'll pull up Google Chrome, and I'll show you how to access that. So you can easily search, you can search Apple, Sample code, look at that. So sample code is the first one that pops up. And as you can see, it's the first one that pops up, the first link that pops up is uh, uh, you know, something that's legit. It's developer.apple.com. It's that website. So we'll click on that. And as you can see, the first thing that's highlighted is the sample code. And then you have over here on the resources type, on the resource types. We have guides and we also have the sample code. So you can click on either one, you know, if you needed a guide for something. And a lot of these are also downloadable. So if you were trying to learn how to do something, you can look it up. So for instance, like there's a sample code for uh, map search. So you can click on map search and then you can go through this and it'll tell you exactly what you need to do. If you were trying to integrate this into your real programs, into your real uh, app. Uh, so it's a very, very good and powerful tool to have. Well, that's it for this lesson, guys. Thank you for joining me on the Ski Channel. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure, make sure, make sure that you do the lab at the end of this section. It'll really help you guys out. Thank you for joining me, and we'll see you next time.